As the weather warms, plenty of people will be looking to get outside and the city of New Haven is taking steps to make sure they can do so safely. And that includes making changes at a popular park. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland has our report tonight. East Rock's popular trails can be pretty narrow, making it difficult to spread out. That's where closing the roads leading up to the park and opening up to pedestrians and cyclists is making it safer. I try to come by daily just to get out and get some sunlight, uh, break up the monotony of staying inside all day. Out walking her dog Stella around New Haven's East Rock Park, Ashley Holbrooks likes the fact there's now a whole lot more room. I think it's a great idea. Um, doing that social distancing and it makes me feel more comfortable walking my dog, so I think it's great. Many of the roads leading up to or cutting through the park are now close to cars after the mayor says a number of residents requested the city close off some streets. The idea is that by limiting traffic to strictly those out on foot or bike, it's now easier for those enjoying the outdoors to safely socially distance from one another. The new normal as we all deal with the coronavirus. Because sidewalks, I mean, you got to walk into the street to avoid people sometimes. It gets a little dicey with traffic and everything. So it, it's a pretty good idea. The same can be said for the park's popular walking and hiking trails that are rather narrow. Closing the roads and opening it up to park goers gives them another safe option, ensuring they're all six feet apart. As the nicer weather goes, People have been locked up a long time and it's, they want to get out and enjoy it. And Nick Sapienza feels the new setup is the way to go. The distancing thing it seems to work, so that's what, we're, that's what we gotta do. And it gives people a chance to get outside and do a day like today. Now this is just a test run. The city says if this works out, they'll consider closing down roads to some other popular spots. With the Mobile Newsroom in New Haven, Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.